Today we're going on an Indonesian food tour in New York City, part two, with our favorite co-host Rika. This time in Manhattan to see both Indonesian comfort food. I love Indomie. Indomie. And the way Indonesian food has expanded in the city. First, a special thanks to today's video sponsor. Hey guys, so I actually started this year doing a 75 day challenge where I worked out for 75 days straight. And I'm actually past day 100 now. That's right. <laughs> I've been really focusing on health and fitness this year, so it's nice when a brand pairs perfectly well with my lifestyle. Ritual recently launched their Essential Protein Daily Shakes da -da, to support maintenance of lean muscle mass and to promote healthy active aging for everyone. <laughs> Ritual's Essential Protein Shakes contains 20 grams of vegan pea protein. It helps build and maintain muscle, contains choline to support brain health, keeps me feeling very full, and supports bone health. So I usually drink one of these after every workout or when I'm on the go. Essential protein is soy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly. Also, there's no added sugar. Ritual is offering 20% off your first month by going to ritual.com slash cup of TJ20 and entering the code cup of TJ20 at checkout. Help fuel your body right so we can go on more adventures like today's. Our first spot of the day is a new coffee shop in Hell's Kitchen, bringing the warmth and comfort of an Indonesian cafe to New York City. Hi, uh, everybody. Uh, my name is Omar. I'm one of the owner of the uh, Warkop, me and my friend Teguh. Warkop basically is a hangout place. It's a warung. Warung means uh, little stores in Indonesia. It, it is uh, every day for everyone, people. You don't have to be someone to come here. Yeah, yeah no, no rules. rules. There are no rules. What is mie goreng? <laughs> <laughs> mie goreng is a comfort food. Like the first way and the easiest way to to getting know about Indonesia is a uh, Indomie, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so the way you order it is you pick single, meaning one pack of Indomie, double two packs of Indomie and Please choose your toppings accordingly, just like you order your ramen, you want to add eggs, you want to have meatballs, you want to have like all the topping so selections. The Indonesian way, yeah. so if you go to like a standard uh, sidewalk or like a street food mm -hmm. or like the real warkop yeah. or warteg, is the corned beef. We call this is internet. Internet. Yeah, you gotta roll that R. <laughs> Indomie, telor, telor, and yeah, in Indonesian means egg, oh. and cornet. It's like corned beef. Oh, so it's called yes, internet. Yes. internet. So if you go to Warkop and you want to order, yeah. like, let me get one internet, they know, they know what it is. Oh, it's like a universal word. Internet. Internet. Now you know. Roll in so here. Good. Yeah, oh. so we can just like mix it. We order single, right? I believe. Yes, Singles. Single. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a, a lot, lot actually. Yeah. 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 I, actually realized. I actually always have a pack of this at home. I've never tried it with corned beef, so I'm really excited for this. Yeah. All right, classic taste, right? Roll for it. All right, here we go. Beef. Do you approve? TJ approve? Cannot go wrong with Indomie, it's so good. I actually also haven't really had this for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah, I've only I've only like eating this every time I go to Indonesia, but I I really, really cook this at home too. You miss home? <laughs> I do. Yeah, I me really too, do. me too. You know in uh, the Hong Kong 7-Eleven, they sell this? Really? Yeah. <laughs> if you go to Hong Kong 7-Eleven and you order hot food, they have a uh, Indomie. They <laughs> in Hong Kong, 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Wow, that is so random. Mm. Now I have to go to Hong Kong. I'm so happy. Thank you. <laughs> is it Indomie? Is it Mie Goreng? So Indomie is the brand. Mm -hmm. So Mie Goreng means like the brothless mm, broth versions, mm. and it meant to be tossed. Mm. That's why when you cook it in the process, you have to strain the noodles, mm. strain the water and you put all the seasonings in a bowl and you dumped the noodles and you start tossing it. So this is corn fritters, corn right? Fritter. It's not like a street food, it's like an appetizer. I would say, like snack. I would say it's more like a snack mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. Our mother actually like make it no way. to make us eat because it's just so easy to make. Here we go, corn fritter. 
There will be no more for Lucas after. Oh my god, it's so good. I don't know why I've never had corn this way in this combination. It's so crispy, but it's pretty light. I love the way the corn like pops and so flaky crisp. And with the sauce, Great oh my job, gosh. Guys. Yeah, it's really, really good. Wow, mm. living my best life. <laughs> During pandemic, I made like maybe like 10 times experiment for the corn fritters, like the ratio and like the measurement. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard actually. Really to make? Create like this crispy like fritters. Mm. That's all I did during quarantine. It didn't work out, but now you can just get it yeah. here. Now you can. Just forget it. Yeah, just forget don't it. Don't make it at home. Don't make it at home. Just, just, just come it. here and, and this is perfect. Okay, I have to try this fried tempeh. What kind of sauce is that? It's just like a soy sauce? So ketchup manis yeah. is like the sweet soy sauce. Mm, oh and yeah. you just put like chopped chili, uh, like the Thai chili, mm -hmm. and you dunk it like this. Wow. You know, and voila. Or you can also use it sambal if you have it. Oh, sambal's so good. Mm. 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 Also crispy. Mm -hmm. How these people can make like all this batter crispy, I don't understand. If someone never tried tempeh before, how do we describe it? It's very, it's like a bean. Very bean, very grainy. Mm -hmm. of like a thick bean paste almost when you bite into it. Great snacks for vegetarian people, for vegan people. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's starting to um, get super familiar in, in America. I saw a lot in Trader Joe's, mm. um, but yeah, it's like a soybean cake. It's our Trader Joe's now, tempeh? Yeah. Wow. They have one. Um, guys, we can't even host right now because um, <laughs> we're eating, okay? Second spot of the day brings us to a beautiful Indonesian restaurant offering Indonesian cuisine with a modern French flair. My name is Ochi. Um, I'm from Indonesia. I grew up. I grew up in Jakarta. I went to culinary school upstate New York, uh, called Culinary Institute of America. You know, my mom always told me, "Okay, you have to open Indonesian restaurant in in, in New York." I said, "No, I don't think so. It's a good idea." <laughs> but then, you know, I one day one of um, my my current partner right now, he graduated from NYU, and he told me, "I think we should uh, open Indonesian restaurant." Then uh, I was like, okay, and then Cedric, let's open the restaurant. Cedric, who's also my husband, he's a chef here at Wayan. I mean, we're the first uh, Indonesian restaurant that uh, can serve like a full restaurant, like with the cocktails, with wine that pair the food. Uh, everything is seasonal based. But I'm hoping to open Made, Nyoman. Made is the second born. Nyoman is the third born, because Wayan means it's first born in Balinese. Oh. To bring uh, the hospitality, uh, Indonesian, uh, warm um, service to here. So we want to make it like, you know, as warm as possible. Yeah? Welcoming. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I love to be in your channel. It's just like full of love, full of laugh full of craziness. Oh we are at our second stop of the day. So this is more of like a high-end Indonesian restaurant. Mm -hmm. Ochi mentions before, like they try to make it the menu more interesting because we're in New York State, mm -hmm. we're in the East Coast offer mm -hmm. uh, seasonal produce. Uh, so what we have in front of us, it's uh, not typical, again, traditional, traditional, authentic Indonesian cuisine. Right. However, sate, sate, yeah. it's like skewers. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty national dish from Indonesia. And uh, typically it's made from lamb. Mm. So what we have in front of us is lamb with uh, dipping sauce on the side is shallot, chopped chili, and ketchup manis, which is the sweet uh, soy sauce. Mm -hmm. And the topping is some sweet peppers and uh, lime leaf right here. But again, usually in Indonesia, if you go to like a street food, street right. stall, uh, they will put like a peanut sauce as a dressing as well, as or like a dipping sauce. And rendang is uh, one of the very highlight that I think the whole yes. world know what rendang is. Our previous video in we the food tried tour, we, we've tried like the actual rendang with the, with the beef. Mm -hmm. So this one is escargot. Excuse my French because I can't speak French at all. But they use the, the, the sauce, like a rendang sauce, mm -hmm. and they put it on top. Oh. With some toast. Oh, oh, can you guys see that? Yeah. It's actually, there's no shell or anything. This whole thing? Yeah, the whole right? thing. Cheers. Mmm. 
sauce is so creamy. Mm -hmm. That escargot is beautiful. Here you go. Thank you. It looks so tender. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna dip in some of this sweet soy sauce. Mmm. <laughs> to be honest with you, I normally don't eat lamb. Because of the gaminess? The gaminess, mm -hmm. you know. But this one is pretty. It's pretty good. Cover it up, yeah. Yeah, it's very tender. Well done. Mm -hmm. Shall we talk this gigantic fritters? They have corn fritters. It's the size of my hand. And then the, it is the size of my face, <laughs> actually. And I have a pretty big face, so. So this is the corn fritter. We had it in the previous place. Mm -hmm. See, like, I'm so, like, confused. Like, how can I not make, okay. like, crispy in my home? Mmm. It smells mm -hmm. so fragrant. Mm -hmm. I taste like that sweet glaze on top of this fritter. You know the crisp from a Cheeto puff? It's like, oh my yeah. god, what this tastes like. It's so good. Just corn chips. <laughs> yeah, just, just <laughs> corn chips. And let's also mix this crab noodle. All right, here we go. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the sauce that they have with it. Look at this lobster piece. Oof. I mean, this, like noodles, like hands down, Indonesian don't really cook yeah. noodles with lobster. With lobster. Like, this is like elevating a comfort food into something totally different. So, here we go. Me go to my lobster. Mmm. Mmm. It's almost like a lobster pasta. Yeah. It's that what? saucy, creamy. Yeah. It's so good. Tastes like the cacho pepe. It's it like so peppery. Like it's a lobster, mi goreng, cacho and pepe. <laughs> wow. Mm. But I think they did a pretty excellent job and replicate that. Yeah, great. Really, really well done. <laughs> Stop. Bonus feature. Bonus Surprise. feature. Yay! We wanted to do some Southeast Asian dessert. I remember going to Singapore and seeing a lot of the desserts there. Mm -hmm. This very much reminds me of that. Malaysian owned, actually. They just, yeah, they say like it's too Malaysian owned, and mm. then um, that's what they're focused on trying to promote like Southeast Asian pastry. Yeah. Growing up in New York City, there's really not many of it. Too. Like, you have to go to a really small mom and pop in Queens. Mm -hmm. What I remember like growing up in New York. Mm -hmm. So I think with the birth of Lady Wong in Manhattan, I think they did really well. Yeah. You know, to, you know, like transform that traditional Southeast Asian pastry into Correct. something like more elegant, more refined with all this like beautiful, beautiful cakes. Wow, oh beautiful. Look at, that. Look at this. So it's a layer of glutinous rice, and on top is pandan custard. Look correct? Crazy, Look at that. Color. We love pandan. I love pandan. Pandan is a type, it's a type of plant. It's a tropical plant. It's yeah, a it's the leaves. leaves. Yeah, you, we in Southeast Asia, we use that a lot in uh, making dessert. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh, that's so good. <laughs> Yeah, that just woke me up. It's so fresh. Oh, you guys have to come try this. Well, I wish we got more of these. Yeah. These are so good. I think they have like some they have um, a whole, bunch, there, whole yeah. bunch and like flavors. Sugar, salted sugar type of cake. Yeah, it's called gula malaka cake. Wow, look how soft that is. Mm. Like a brown sugar. Boba <laughs> cake. <laughs> it's so. Oh, it's not what it it's is. Not yeah. overpowerly sweet. Mm -mm. It's so complex. Wow. It's so subtle. Lychee, black sesame, and passion fruit. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> it's always good when it's just wow every single bite. Oh, check that out. Wow. Wow. Mm. The nuttiness of the black sesame paired with the fresh sourness of the passion fruit and the cream inside. Oh. Well done, Lady Wong. Lady Wong, I see you, Lady Wong. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, and that was another delicious Indonesian food tour. Special thanks to Rika for showing us around oh, once you're again. Welcome. It was really nice to see both comfort Indonesian food and also a fusion 
take on it all. It was very delicious and thank you to all the restaurants. Now is part of the video, we'll return it back to you and ask which of the items that we tried today would you love to try? Rika has been working really hard on something special, so I'm gonna turn it over to her and have her tell you guys. Hello, New Yorkers. Uh, so I launched this uh, small nonprofit called Kawan Budaya early this year. We are a, a small team, um, Indonesian American who's living in New York City. Uh, our mission is uh, promoting Indonesia in general. We are hosting a gala uh, to showcase Indonesian uh, culture, starting with uh, dancing, uh, shadow puppet for all these performers from Bali and then also there's art exhibitions from Komaneka Gallery so before you fly to Indonesia and then spend so much money and time so we're gonna bring Indonesia to New York City so we'd like to invite you and you can check uh, the link down here on this YouTube channel on TJ's thank you TJ's you're gonna find a website www.kawanbudaya.org and we're gonna release the ticket by July so check it out and we'll keep you guys posted not to forget this gala is a fundraising and charity where we would like to support a small nonprofit organizations focused in the children's right in Jakarta Indonesia and we also like to support Indonesian tourism so all tickets will go into the fundraising so we really really need your support if you like arts, if you like to travel, so before you travel all the way down there, we would like you to join us and taste a little piece of Indonesia in New York City. Yeah, see you guys there. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>